Well, are you excited to come to Canada? You ever been to the Great White North before? We actually we got a chance to perform in Montreal and Quebec, uh, Montreal and Ottawa, excuse me, last month. Okay, and, uh, perfect. Yeah, so to be able to come back out, I'm stoked. So the tour is kind of winding down slowly but surely. I think it's New Year's Eve in Temecula, California there. Is that the last date of the tour? Uh, well, the tour actually ends uh, December 2nd is our last show, and then uh, we're doing New Year's shows as kind of a one-off. But, yeah, so uh, on a technicality, yeah, we are ending at the end of the year. Okay, so yeah, I got it. Yeah, you got to admit, you're probably exhausted by now. So are, are you looking forward to doing some R&R, or are you going to maybe keep writing, or are you going to do some one-off shows as oh, it goes man, along? I want to get started on the next record. I, I'm, uh, I mean, I'm tired, but, you know, I, I've, I figure... Uh, figure no no rest for the wicked so i'm just gonna keep working so are you uh, are you writing while you're on the road right now or are you just gonna wait until the tour is over and out before you sit down and start penning uh, things we're trying to write a little bit uh it, it's hard to be it, it's hard for me to be analytical and and, and be observant of, of kind of the things that i would want to write about while it's happening so uh yeah, imagine once we get off the road you know, i'll be able to look uh, a little more objectively at everything and and, and hopefully find a, a lot of stuff to write about sure so, um, David Cook, the album, which uh, I know back in February went platinum, so I know kind of a belated congratulations on that. Um, are, are you happy with the way everything turned out with it, or do you still kind of look back and go, ah, oh, we should have added this, we should have added that, maybe I don't like oh, that Oh, man, well, I, I, a little bit of both. I think, you know, obviously I'm happy with the way the record's uh, been received and, and, and all that, and, and uh, I do feel like it's a record I would have made with or without, you know, Idol. Um, but I do that with every record where, you know, month down the line, you're like, oh, man, this this would have sounded way cooler and da-da-da. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of my own worst critic that way. I sure. imagine if I made a record where a year later I was completely 100% content with it, then I'm probably, I'm probably getting a little stagnant. Sure. Um, so it's now been a little bit more than a year since the time of my life went number one. Has that success kind of sunk in yet? Are you are you still mesmerized at the fact that you had a number one song there, or <laughs> is it just kind of you know kind of roll off the shoulders and on we go with it? Um, you know, again, I think uh, I think a bit of both. You know, I, I've tried to keep myself so busy, uh, you know, because I, I I figure you got to put in the work to to, to keep this thing afloat. Um, I haven't had a chance to really stop long enough to to really analyze that kind of stuff. Uh, it, it's great. I mean, obviously a huge honor, and and I imagine you know when things kind of settle down for a minute that I'll probably look back and be like, what the, what, what was that, <laughs> you know? But uh, but yeah, I, I don't know. I think as of right now, it's just something I'm I'm really looking forward to trying to build off of. So, um, what do you think that you're building towards? I mean, you you've had the number one single. You've obviously you know destroyed the billboard charts there uh, david cook the album has been up there for the longest time and is uh, still floating around there so uh what are you kind of working towards what do you think is your ultimate goal in the music industry when are you going to be completely satisfied um i don't know that i ever will be you know for me i, I just want to put out good records and play good shows and, and those are things that that there's never a ceiling on uh and and if and if those two things you know if those two objectives get met regularly then and everything else will kind of fall wherever it's supposed to fall. Um, yeah, you know, whether it be, uh, you know, uh, I, I don't, I don't know. I mean, if I end up, if this is as big as I get, then I'm okay. If, if we become the biggest band on the planet, awesome. Um, if it all ends tomorrow, I mean, it's been a hell of a ride. I kind sure. of just look at it that way. So you're one of the biggest things that has ever come out of American Idol. I mean, a lot of people look at it as yourself and uh, Kelly and Carrie and Daughtry, and then it's pretty much everyone else. So do you kind of keep oh. in touch with anyone else from the show? Or uh, Yeah, I mean, I talk, to, I talk to a lot of people actually from my season as much as I can. Uh, I talked to Archie not long ago. I talked to Michael Johns. I talked to Carly. Uh, I talked to Brooke. Um, and then uh, actually I've become really good friends with Carrie. She's been... Uh, you know, in the beginning, she made herself available to kind of help me out because I, I think she, you know, realizes it's it's a lot to take on all at once, and and uh, and as such, you know, we become really good friends, and and uh, I was lucky enough to get a thank you on her new record, which was pretty cool. Nice. So, so there was that camaraderie there on the show. It wasn't you guys weren't oh, just kind yeah. of bunkered in your own hotel rooms and then never talked to anyone. There was, you know, you actually developed some lasting relationships out of that. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, I, I love the people that I was on the show with, and and you know, a lot of people I got to met, meet along the way from other seasons were were awesome. So it's it's it, Idol's very much uh, kind of a, a family fraternity kind of vibe. I don't know. I mean, I 
you know, I, it's 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 strange. You know, you you I'd, I'll run into Ryan Seacrest or something. We're in L.A. and it's just you, know, you catch up like your like your friends that haven't seen each other in a long time. It's sure. it's, a, it's, it's a pretty cool little club to be a part of. And uh, speaking of television, I don't know if this is uh, public notice yet, but I know the rumors had kind of been addressed anyway in the media that uh, you were making an appearance on Extreme Home Makeover Home Edition. Yes, I was. Yeah, I was. Uh, we we took a two week break from shows actually at the end of October. Uh, it was supposed to be a quote unquote vacation, but <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, I, I I got the opportunity to uh, to head to Indiana and 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 do something you know that did involve uh, you know uh, talking about myself. Uh, which is, you know, for better or for worse, it's kind of what I do with a lot of these interviews. So uh, it was nice to, to just do something else. You know, I felt like, uh, I, yeah, I, I don't know, it, it, it felt loftier than, than playing music. And sure. uh, to, to give you know, a family a need something tangible was really cool. On the subject of television, you have a lot of artists who are kind of taking on acting roles. Ashley Simpson, I suppose, is a recent one. And historically, you can go back and find musicians and artists who have made their way onto the small screen there. So have you ever considered or have been offered an acting job or anything like that yet? Has that come across you? Um, you know, I've really put it out there that's something I would like to do. Uh, I'm definitely a musician first, and, and I highly, highly doubt that will change. But... Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I'm kind of I'm kind of interested in any in any sort of any sort of thing where I get to be creative and, and get to you know do something artsy and and, uh, and so I welcome that kind of stuff. Uh, as far as any specific roles being offered yet, uh, no, not really. I mean, I've done a couple of readings and stuff like that, but nothing's really stuck. So. Sure. Um, I got a few questions here that uh, some uh, listeners had kind of emailed in, so if I could rattle okay. those off to you. Um, sure. What's the craziest thing that a fan has done to you up to this point? Uh, smelled me after a show. Which, <laughs> after the show. I mean, invariably, you can't imagine that's going to smell good. But, <laughs> you know, uh, yeah, it's, 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 I guess if that's as bad as it gets, then it's not too bad. A little, little off, but not too bad. <laughs> um, what's the strangest item or body part that you've ever autographed? Um... A forehead, actually, yeah. Let's say forehead. Sure. Um, what is the, or who would be the best celebrity friend that you've made up to this point? Since you've kind of made that way up into superstardom, who's the biggest celebrity friend that you've uh, maintained a relationship with or developed one with? Um, for me, uh, Rain Maida from Our Lady Peace. So have you met anyone along the way uh, in your ventures through Hollywood there maybe who has made you absolutely starstruck and haven't been able to breathe at the sight of them? Uh, I remember going to the Teen Choice Awards with Archie not long after our season ended, and uh, I was sitting there with my, my leg, uh, my left foot propped up on my right knee and turning to my left and talking to Archie, and I hear, I feel somebody slap my foot as they walk by, and it was Adam Sandler, and it kind of freaked me out. <laughs> Um, who's one artist that you'd love to do a duet with? Springsteen. Yeah, that'd be a good one. Yeah, yeah that would work. <laughs> and um, the last one, if you weren't a recording artist right now, let's say that you slept in for that American Idol audition. It never happened. Let's say Analog Heart maybe never happened. And what what would you be doing right now if you weren't a recording oh, artist? Wow. Uh, I'd probably be living uh, back home in Kansas City, uh, doing graphic design for a living, and and uh, I don't know, probably probably living the uh, the standard American dream, as it were. Sure. Yeah. All right, David. Thank you so much for doing this. Uh, best of luck to you with uh, the rest of the tour, and uh, we'll see you Saturday night in Windsor. Thanks, man. I appreciate it.